I just filmed a whole video, and not really like a big deal, but it was like a, a decent video. And then I just accidentally like deleted all the footage and my like iCloud is like so full that it didn't go to my deleted album. So here I am filming it again. Just doing a little like vlog style kind of video. A little update about what I'm doing lately and all that kind of stuff. So uh, the point on the obvious, I did go blonde. Um, I really love it. My like roots are still like brown. So my hair is like naturally like a black color so when it grows in like it won't be too bad and then I cut it a little bit shorter I went to Courtney McGovern at Thirst Tree Hair Company and it was honestly like a really good experience like first of all she's talented at her hair like the obvious but she was just really nice to talk to and it was like a, a never like awkward moment of silence and she there was, there was always something to say and like a conversation going on which was really nice and it and honestly made me feel like right at home and it was kind of cool how much stuff we had in common so that was really nice and I would 110% recommend her she has an Instagram like I think it's balayage Courtney balayage underscore Courtney I don't know but I love her and I would recommend her 10 out of 10 second of all I am still working the two jobs McDonald's and nannying but then I picked up um photographing for people. I want to call myself a photographer because I don't really know a lot. That's kind of why I went back into it. I posted on my like Towns Classified page on Facebook. If anyone was interested in just like helping me gain experience, I would charge them like 20 bucks. And actually a lot of people responded which was on it. so nice. So I have like a shoot every day for October and that's gonna be really fun. Just the downside is that it's supposed to rain every day, pretty much. Excuse me. It's supposed to rain every day, and all my shoots are outside. So, I hope... Ew. Okay. <laughs> I hope everything, you know, works out, and it's a fine. So, that's been really fun. I've been doing the two jobs, then doing the shoot, and then editing, and then trying to do YouTube... I put YouTube on the back burner, and you guys could tell. Um, so that's kind of why I wanted to just film like a quick update. I like um, the little intro that you saw was made by Anna Spaholsky, and I just love her. She's like such a positive per like I don't know her anything like personal about her. I guess um. I don't know her know her but what I know from her is that she's so nice she's just like a positive person that like I love to watch her YouTube videos love to watch her Insta or love to see her Instagram posts I love talking to her um I really wish she like was home like I wish she was still in high school for some reason or like went to NMU so I could like hang out with her when I wanted to kind of thing like I want to be friends with her but she made the intro for me so thank you and when she comes home from college I really want to take her out to like coffee or something to thank her but I'm just like really bad at editing fo like videos and I don't really have like a software or like the right like equipment I guess to edit videos like I have a couple filmed but I just like need to edit them because some shit was said in them and I can't have that on YouTube so I need to edit that out like, I have a best friend like video with Madison that I need to edit, but I've just been like putting it on the back burner. What else? So I'm going to LA in a month. November 8th, we fly out to LA. We're only there for like a four day weekend. We're going to Camp Flogna, which is the Tyler the Creator Festival. I'm so excited, so excited. I'm sorry if I look really tired. I honestly haven't done anything today. Besides edit photos, so. I have one and a half, like, outfits for LA. I need to find pants for one of my outfits or, like, shorts or something. But I'm really excited. I've never been to LA, so I'm, like, really excited. Or even to California. I've never been out there, so I'm pumped. I only have one free day to, like, explore um, LA. And we're staying in downtown LA, so I'm really excited, actually. My grandma and my mom are so nervous, but it's kind of, 
I know everything's gonna be fine. Um, what else? Oh, I've started a bullet journal. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but it's kind of like a journal slash planner that you like design yourself, I guess. So, mine really is really shitty, so I don't really want to show you. But I kind of wanted to practice for like October, November, and December, so like my 2019 planner was like really good. Um, yeah, and it's something to do. And, ooh. Jesus. My hair is whack. I just had it in like a bun for the whole day and I went to go brush it out. But I think that's it for an update. Tomorrow, I work both jobs and then I have, I think, photo shoots. So I kind of want to do it a day in my life tomorrow. Um, if you guys are interested, hopefully that'll work out. I work at 4 a.m. when I work at McDonald's, so I don't really like wake up early enough, but maybe I'll wake up at like 3.30 tomorrow and film a little bit. Maybe. I'm not going to make any promises, but I'm going to try. Alright, so I think that's going to be it. Thanks for watching my little update. Um, I honestly just want to give a shout, out, a shout out to Jemadar and Lindsay Rabbitail. They're like local photographers in my area and they're on a, like so talented. And they're just like, one of the two biggest like inspirations that I had to like start my own photography business and like start taking photos again. So if you want to look them up on Instagram, it's Jemadar, no, I think it's Jemadar Creative Co. And then Lindsay Shea Photography, both really creative. Gemma actually has an Etsy page. Um, oh, it's so cute. Hold on. Let me show you the stickers that I got. She makes stickers in, like, for your planner. And she just has, like, stickers in general that she makes. And they're, and honestly, she's one of my biggest inspirations and just, like, role models in life. I don't know if she watches my videos, but... See, look at it. They're still in the packaging because I don't want to ruin them. But how cute are they? They have like gym to do sweater weather, like grocery shopping, like little pic picture like cameras. It's honestly so cute. And then I just got I already have one of these in my water bottles, but I just got another one since I was already making a purchase and I love them. Here's her I don't know if this is like gonna be flipped or not, but here's her business card. Love her. She has a blog, she has everything. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope this wasn't a shitty vlog. <laughs> but I'll see you guys maybe in my day in my life tomorrow. Bye.